I think we can probably all agree that WordPress is a fantastic platform with its massive amounts of themes and plugins and all those kinds of things that expands what you can do very easily. However, there is one inherent problem, and that is the ability for your site to get hacked or compromised based upon out-of-date plugins, security issues, and so on. So anything that can help us have peace of mind and monitor and maintain and avoid these problems has got to be worth checking out. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to be taking a look at Patch Stack who have kindly sponsored this video. As always, no opinions expressed. I'm simply going to demonstrate some of the benefits. Then you can make a more informed decision for yourself. Now, I've been subscribed to the Patchstack email platform for quite some time, and this just notifies me when there are issues with plugins that I may need to check out. And if I have them installed, deal with updating them. However, it goes an awful lot further. If you opt for one of the free or paid plans, you get access to a lot more. And we'll come back to pricing and some of the features a little later. For now, I want to demonstrate exactly how easy it is to get set up and then show you some of the features you can have access to depending upon the plan that you choose. So first things first, we need to connect our website, our WordPress website, with Patchstack. It's very easy to do. All you need to do is log into the dashboard of your WordPress website, go over to the plugins, search for Patchstack, install, and activate their plugin. So now we need to connect our WordPress website via the Patchstack plugin with our Patchstack account. To do that is incredibly easy. We'll come back to WordPress in a moment, but let's just switch over to our Patch Stack account. And inside our dashboard, we're going to come into the My Apps section, and we're simply going to add new. We'll click, and you can see this asks for our website address. Let's pop that in, and let's say continue to connect the plugin. This can take a couple of moments, but when it's completed, we're then ready to move on to the next step for connecting. As you can see, this tells us now it isn't connected. That's because we haven't put that API key that we need in the plugin. Now, don't worry if this means nothing to you. All you need to do is simply copy what you can see on screen. We'll click the copy, head back into our WordPress website with our plugin, and simply paste this in. Now we can click Activate. And after a few moments, you can see we are now connected to our account. Now let's head back over into Patch Stack. Tell you we want to sync with the plugin. And we are done. We have now connected our site over to our Patch Stack account. And this now allows us to monitor various different aspects. So first of all, let's deal with the updates that we have and taking a look if we have any security vulnerabilities in any of those plugins. Now, from our dashboard homepage, we can see a brief overview of all of the sites we have connected and any issues we may be encountering. As you can see, we've got three low priority things we need to address, but thankfully, no high priority and no medium priority. And we'll come back and take a look at some of the options you have for handling these high priority sort of issues in the background before you have to worry about anything. So now that we can see we've got a couple of issues, let's take a look at the additional information that help us make informed decisions on how we want to handle things. Let's take this first one as an example. We've got a couple of icons. We've got an overview of what site it's on and also what the actual issue itself is. Now, let's take a look at these icons. You can see this first one tells us there's a fix available for this issue. So we can easily patch this by just running an update, installing the updated version of the theme, plugin, WordPress core, whatever it is. We've then got information about how severe this is. You can see this is a low patch priority. Now, the CVSS score is a patch priority score, which basically tells you how likely the vulnerability is to be exploited in real world conditions and whether or not it receives a V patch protection, which basically low ones don't need, and how much time people have to update or remove the affected plugin. If we expand this out, you can see this gives us a breakdown of a little bit more information. Then we can see what version is vulnerable. So anything prior to 6.4.3 is vulnerable. There is a 6.43 patch at this point in time, and you can see this is fixed in that version. Again, we've got another one underneath. We can expand this out, and you can see this gives us more information. Now, the other thing that's worth bearing in mind is when this is monitoring your site or sites, if any vulnerabilities come up, you'll be notified via email, so you don't have to log in and check this multiple times a day. This can be handled, and when you get a notification, you can log in and you can deal with any of the issues that Patch Stack highlights for you. So now we've seen we've got some vulnerable and outdated plugins, and we can see this easily over on the dashboard on the right-hand side. It tells us eight outdated, two that are vulnerable. We now need to go and handle things. So let's hop over to the software section. Let's choose the option for, we can see we've got software name, application, and so on. Let's choose our application. Let's just filter now for our particular website. And there we go. And now you can see this gives us an overview of the database type PHP versions and so on. So you can see we can check those out. 
And you also see that we've got options then for what versions of any of the plugins and themes we're running, whether it's vulnerable, outdated, up to date, and so on. But now what we can do is we can say, just immediately update all outdated, choose the option and say, yep, we're gonna update it. Now, obviously you probably wanna do a backup prior to this, but before you do, just click on yes, update. That's now gonna go and update these all to the latest versions. And if there are any then that have any exploits that have been patched, they'll also be done as well for you. So you'll always have the most up-to-date version of any of the plugins, themes, and so on, including WordPress core. And you see after a few moments now, everything has been updated. What the version was that we had, what it is now. So now any ones that needed to be updated that have that vulnerabilities patched will be updated to the latest versions. So now we've gone through the updating, we've got rid of any of the outdated plugins, we've updated them to the latest versions, and you may still see a vulnerability here, which may lead you to think, well, I don't need to monitor this all the time, so what can I do? Well, this leads us on nicely to some of the other features we have of part of PatchStack. So we hop over into My Apps, this will list all of the websites you have as part of your account. Let's open up the one we just created. And this will now give you a breakdown of specifically just that website or application. Then in the software tab, this gives us a breakdown again of all our site plugins, themes, and so on. But we have some options here. So let's say we do have that potential vulnerability, but we don't know when a patch is going to come out. So for example, we can say, if we've got any vulnerability, I want to auto update that. So once we enable that, once there's an update available, that will automatically update that vulnerable plugin, core file, theme, whatever it is. And if you want to, you could also break this down to core plugins and themes. Generally, I would probably say deal with the vulnerable and handle these things manually. But if you don't have the time or the inclination to do it, you can use patch stack to handle that side of things as well. Now the protection module has a lot of really useful and powerful features included. Now it's worth bearing in mind that some of these features are only gonna be available when you're paying, whether you're on a paid account or you're using the community or free account, you can upgrade any site you have inside there and take advantage of some of these features without having to have it on all of your accounts. This is a great way if you've got a paid client or you've got a site that's really important and you wanna make sure that they have some of these additional features applied where you can use that. And then other sites you don't pay for can just carry on being totally free. Very, very useful. Now, one of the key features is automatic protection against vulnerabilities, which is called vPatching. It's included by default in the developer and business plans, but community plan users can also enable this on a per site basis. Now, vPatches are basically highly customized firewall rules that are created for each vulnerability specifically. This allows patch stack to prevent attacks without altering the code or performance of a vulnerable plugin. Now, because these rules are deployed only when a vulnerable component is present, it means the app has an extremely small performance footprint. And currently you can see there's over five and a half thousand rules already being applied in this instance to three of my websites. We've also got advanced hardening, which is a new feature. This is a WordPress hardening module that applies additional security to your WordPress applications to block any kind of common malicious requests against WordPress sites. Again, adding another layer of protection where you can't have those plugins and so on being exploited. The community IP block list. This again is another new feature and this is a very useful feature. This is where information from other users of patch stack that submit this information, any IP addresses that are being known to target WordPress websites can be tagged and then you can have those automatically being blocked on your applications. Again, you can see you can enable this if you want to. So this is going to block IP addresses which are known to exploit vulnerabilities. Another sort of peace of mind kind of thing. Again, you can activate this module should you need to. And you can see I've just simply activated that now for my three applications. Now there's some other features to be notified if there are any vulnerabilities. And again, these are incredibly useful. And they're not tied to paid accounts. These are on free and paid. So every patch stack user will get a 48 hour early warning for new vulnerabilities discovered by the Patch Stack Alliance security research community. You'll also receive email alerts about any new vulnerabilities. If you're on a developer or business plan, you can choose only to be notified if that vulnerability has a high patch priority. Plus, if you're a developer or a business plan, users can also get scheduled security reports, while free users can generate site vulnerability overview snapshot reports. So again, depending upon what plan you're on, whether it's the free or the pro version, you're still gonna get a lot of really useful pieces of information to notify you if there are any issues of any vulnerabilities. Okay, so now we've gone through everything, we've updated our sites, we've resynced them to make sure that everything is up to date. And as you can see, all of our dashboard is completely and utterly clear. We have no vulnerabilities being reported.
Now, there's a couple of useful pieces of information that I think I want to make you aware of before we wrap this video up. First of all, if you are one of the community or free users, you can increase your connected site limit from the current 10 sites to 50 sites for $49 per month. Bear in mind, though, there is no protection included in that. Now, if you're a community user and you want to take advantage of that per site protection I just talked about, that's dropped from $9 per month to $5 per month per site. Plus, this also gives you protection and all of the hardening features we just took a look at. This just scratches the surface of what you can do using PatchTag. Most importantly, it gives you peace of mind and early warning if there are any vulnerabilities. The fact that you can start off for free and then you can easily upgrade on a per site basis for as little as $5 per month gives you all the features you should need with protection and hardening included. If you then want to upgrade to one of the pro plans, you can do that. All the information you need is in the link in the description down below. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.